What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. I think it's like almost one o'clock. I don't know if you've heard of the app called The Real Real. Pretty much you can buy and sell designer items. So I didn't know how bougie this was until my mom put me on. But pretty much someone is coming here to evaluate our items and see if they want to take them or not. So I have a few things that I want to um get rid of just because i don't use them or they don't fit me so yeah my birthday is on saturday and baby girl wants a birkin like i feel like i earned it you know said they bring inventory but they won't let me film it so <laughs> we'll see how that goes but there is a package upstairs and i'm really excited to open it starting the birthday festivities like this is the birthday vlog crazy let's see here let me not show my address on the internet i have a package from lorve eyewear i wasn't gonna buy the winter collection because i've bought all of them and you know i was thinking i'd be on the pr list but we gotta support dr taylor the packaging is so good it's always more than a box Ooh. <laughs> the main reason i got these is because i'm going on like a mountain lodge ski trip in utah and i wanted these glasses because i feel like they're very like ski resort you see mom oh nice i like it i saw people talking about the the new carrying cases on instagram and i was hoping that i would get one because they're really cute i feel like these glasses are a representation of diera taylor like I don't even know if these look good on me, but I don't care. And then lastly, we have the pair Boost. I don't know, something about a pair of red glasses. They look good. I wear a lot of red, surprisingly. So. That's because it's my favorite color. That's why I wear it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's why. You did this. You did it. <laughs> yes, you did. The Black Rodeo, Martin Luther King Day Black Rodeo, January the 15th. Yeah, have fun. Yes. <laughs> Those are nice. She's been looking for some cowboy yes. boots for a minute. <laughs> yes. These are the boots that I'm selling. I feel like we all know the struggle I had with these. I shouldn't have bought them to begin with. Or I should have returned them after I initially bought them. But I just wish they fit me because they're so cute. Ugh, man. Balenciaga, stop being sizes, okay? And make bigger things. <laughs> Oh my god, not me joking. <laughs> Why does my forehead look so big? That thing be out. The real real people didn't even end up coming because they didn't confirm it, so no one showed up. So they're coming tomorrow. So hopefully I can sell those items that don't fit me because I don't want them. I'm sitting on like thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Just take it. I am on my way to the gym. Hopefully today I can film my workout routine. I want to do it in the span of today and tomorrow. I do glutes three times a week and then I do body pump, so full body three times a week. And that's really like my workout split. So hopefully we could film that today. I'm going to Lifetime. I had a bad experience with Lifetime in Charlotte, North Carolina, so we'll see if this one do something for me. Can you do something for me? <laughs> <laughs> and then I also need to go to Sephora. Well, I don't need to, but there's like a new foundation that's trending on TikTok and I want to hop on the trend. I bought it last night. I just need to pick it up. later the verdict on that gym i don't think it's for me i don't know because that one although it was like kind of nicer it still didn't have all the equipment that my other gym has i felt so uncomfortable in that gym like i've lived in colorado my entire life like colorado is a predominantly white state but when i tell you i have not been surrounded by that many white people since i was in college y'all it made me feel like fight or flight like which one is it it was weird i felt like i was just being observed and being watched and they were just 
staring at me which i have no problem with i get it shoot if i saw this chocolate thickness i'd stare too but it just made me uneasy being there there's another lifetime that i want to try before i completely just say screw it i'm good but right now i'm at the mall I literally went in for one thing, paid for it, didn't even have to spend any money. I have a problem. I learned that the way you self-sabotage is the opposite of your love language. So my love language being giving and receiving gifts, I self-sabotage, self-sabotage, <laughs> self-sabotage with impulsive spending. I think we all know that's very true for me from miss sephora the makeup by mario foundation i'm excited to try it this was the closest one to my skin color it wasn't like a perfect match but we gonna try it off the bat his shade range has nothing on fenty like at all don't play with riri a foundation brush what else did i buy a whole bunch of stuff i don't need i want to start wearing blush more i've heard really good things about nars blush like berry purple then this is the Pat McGrath um, Divine Blush in the color Electric Bloom. Now, I was kind of like, girl, you about to put this neon blush on me. I'm a black person. Like, let's be for real. But no, I was thoroughly surprised. You would never think that a color this bright would look good on dark skin, but no. I stand corrected. And then I got my little birthday gift. Lastly, I got a Brazilian, another Brazilian bum bum cream. It just smells so good. And it was on sale, so I had to. I went to Pandora. I bought myself a new ring. That's really pretty. It has a gold band on it. I got myself promise rings, you guys, because ain't nobody else gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for me. Get into it. Yeah, and it, like, it just is where it belongs, you know? I also have some clothes from Gymshark. I love the gym. I love to look good in the gym. I don't know if it's just me, but gym clothes make me feel better and perform better always and forever on Gymshark's website we got some colors <laughs> i'm so excited love a good yellow shirt i need to figure out how to get Gymshark to sponsor me not me trying to be a fitness influencer <laughs> i would definitely say that's a part of me is like my fitness and things like that. There needs to be more representation for women who aren't like complete, like bodybuilders who are like super toned, just your average everyday mid-sized woman just working out. Like I might look like a gym girl on a right day. I might not, you never know. Then we have the same shorts in navy blue. And I also got this top. I love open back tops. I posted this on TikTok for my workout video and I lost pretty much my entire like back rolls, <laughs> back rolls, gone, just about. If you get me on the right angle, it's gone. <laughs> the following day. Good morning, everybody. It is 11, 12 a.m. Yeah, it's the morning. My mom and I are gonna do take two of us trying to sell our items. <laughs> she was supposed to come in at 11 and it's 11, 12, but I can't be mad though, cause I'm late to everything. So I give them a 15 minute grace period, you know. Today's outfit, I'm finally wearing this dress from Skims. It's kind of short, but you can't see that part, so it's okay. If I like iron it, it'd be all right. I don't know, I'm trying to wear my clothes because I have a lot of them, but I find that I only wear gym outfits and sweatpants and then like whatever I style on Instagram. And we gotta change that, you know, because I have to spend all this money on clothes we gotta start wearing them. It would help if I could see the items in my closet, but that's a different problem for a different day, but that day is coming up. I ordered some flowers. It sounds kind of sad. It, it depends how you look at it. It could be sad from a place of lack, but it could be, what's the word? 
empowering from a place of I did this for myself. I don't ever get flowers on my birthday, so I just buy them for myself. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go all out. So I think there's like a little over a hundred roses. I'm so excited. <laughs> From the real real just left but y'all I couldn't I was gonna sell this purse this was the first designer thing I buy in store a lot of stuff I buy off the real real itself or I just you know ship it to my house this was my first like experience and I bought it after um, I was in the Nike store in Chicago so I feel like I just you know you can't get rid of it it's honestly more of like a a memory thing than the purse itself. The gag is I left my um, big B in the B stand for bands. I left these glasses in the purse, so they would have got two things out of me. I don't think so. Stevie Wonder to the BS. Casey. Okay, I'm gonna cut these flowers. I don't really want to open them up, but we're we'll going to a hotel tomorrow. So. Why you marry a rich man? Outside of my sugaring appointment, <laughs> I have this appointment and then I'm going to the gym. I'm not gonna vlog too much just because my battery is about to die, but we gonna do these edges real quick because I that nap took everything out of me. I look crazy. Hopefully my battery, oh, that was a good swoop. Hopefully my battery lasts in the gym. It probably won't, but hopefully. <laughs> Sugaring, check. I, yeah, it's been a minute since I last had um, a maintenance day down there, and let me tell you something, that was not fun. And I'm going to a new girl because my old girl Ashley moved back to LA. So the lady who did my um, sugaring today is actually the owner, and she was very thorough. She was taking her sweet time, did not miss a single, a single follicle of hair. So bald. It's giving Caillou, it's giving the genie from, no, he had a little hair on him. But you you know what I mean. I wish I could show y'all, but not even to be weird, but just to show y'all that sugaring is really that girl. Ugh, love it here. Benefits of sugaring are like top tier. Literally, I've lost all hyperpigmentation, razor bumps, all of that just gone. Like it literally looks like a nice bald head. Because you know, fun to play with, not to eat. Well, let me stop. <laughs> I'm about to go to the gym. I have a workout class, a group fitness class, in an hour, but I'm downtown and there's traffic, so it will probably take me an hour to get back on that side of town. Let's get to it. What music are we gonna play? I was listening to, you know, Mr. Glocky, cause I love Key Glock, and I think I'm gonna just keep the vibes going. My camera died. To the gym, I went to Bible study. And now we're here. I have a package. These! Tiberius, no. <laughs> the lime green moon boots. Someone sent me these on Instagram and was like, you completely killed these. And I'm like, yeah, girl, I know. I wasn't gonna get them because I'm trying to save money. But then I got invited to a brand trip in the mountains. Nice. Mom, look. Oh, it came in! And they match the coat I just had on. They sure do. I'll bring them to, to Utah. Nice. Do you know what the weather's gonna be like in Utah? Cold, I'm assuming. The next day. So, wow, it's actually morning. I'm proud of myself. I woke up at 6 o'clock 
that's crazy because i don't wake up that early unless i have a flight to catch y'all know i go to bed at six o'clock but we're trying to fix that it is currently 9 21 i believe fingers crossed i filmed um the booty portion of my workout routine video it's cold in here i turn the heat on today is actually the start of the birthday activities because i'm about to get my hair done i'm gonna surprise y'all with the hair only one person knows it's gonna be a look to say the least it's ironic because i just left the gym but now i'm in the chick-fil-a drive-thru honestly it's all about balance okay i was truly and utterly embarrassed by by the way my hair looks so we're not even gonna show it like mm -mm. Mm -mm. we are about to get this hair done what's the like are we talking are we doing no we're just gonna be like woo, 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 woo. We're gonna do that and okay. then we'll be like, ah, cousin, like, ah, hee hee hee. It's a long week. <laughs> it's really, Talitha, I just don't know if you know. <laughs> it's so fire though. Here's the hair. I really like it. I think blonde is my color. Maybe. Well, maybe we'll start experimenting with color more because y'all know I don't do colored hair. Hair of color. Excuse me. The only thing I don't like about it is it tangles so easily because it's so long. Literally driving home, I had to brush it. Like, look at this. I didn't. I just brushed it and she's already getting tangled. I might put it in a bun until I get home. I don't even think I have a hair tie. That's great. Right now I'm gonna pick up some balloons and then I'm probably gonna head over to my hotel -y. I'm gonna start um, like setting up my balloons and stuff for pictures. It's gonna be really cute. It's gonna be really, really, really cute. I'm very pro treat me how I treat me. So like, I don't know, girls always say like, oh my gosh, I wish someone would set up a hotel for me and I wish, I wish that I could be surprised by a man for my birthday, blah, blah, blah. And yes, that is something I still want but I'm not just gonna wait for someone to do it for me. No. Why am I waiting for a man to do something for me when I'm perfectly capable of doing it for myself? And that way, you already set the bar even higher because you're like, if I'm doing these things for myself, what makes you think that you can come in here and do the bare minimum and stay? No. The gas station right now i have clearly left the hotel i wasn't gonna talk about this on the internet but i feel like i'm not obligated to share but i want to share let me pull over somewhere real quickly i suffer with something a lot of people do actually it's not uncommon at all uh seasonal depression love that i don't know what it is about november december and january and even like parts of february that are just so hard for me. And I think it has to do with um, college and the trauma that I experienced in school around that time of year is just terrible. I was never depressed until I graduated high school. And then after that, I'm like, dang, what you sad for? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about why I'm sad. But the fact is, I be sad sometimes. And there's not even a reason for it. It's just days where I'm not feeling it. Like yesterday I started in a great mood and by the time I got to the hotel, I was just not happy. And I don't know what it is. I don't know where it comes from. And I just hate the fact that it happens around holidays. And on my birthday, it's times where I'm like, dang, like, there's literally nothing wrong. But <sighs> help. <laughs> So I didn't um, vlog. Why am I about to start crying? <laughs> I didn't um, vlog at the hotel because I was just not in a good mood and I didn't want um, to show you guys that. I did still take pictures and I literally had to force myself to do it. I was like, I paid for this. I'm here. Just make it work. Yeah, you guys will see the pictures when I post them on my birthday, but you won't know that. I don't want to talk about it anymore, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why that happens, but today's a new day. Today's a new day. Let me not start crying on the way home. Not crying in the car. <laughs> if you are someone who like suffers mental disorders or depression as well, you are not alone. We are in the same boat. So if you need to cry in the car with me, 
Just go ahead and let it out, girl. Or boy. We don't discriminate. I love my birthday, and I love birthdays in general, like for my friends and family members. I love going all out. But my friends and family members, they don't do for me what I do for them, and it's not a bad thing. It's just they're not really big, extravagant people. Y'all know my love language is receiving gifts, and they don't... Not to say they don't love me, but a lot of them don't love me in my love language. I feel like that also plays a part in how I feel on my birthday, so... Oh, I don't want to start crying. <laughs> Why do I cry in every video? This is getting out of hand. If you know someone's love language, it doesn't matter what yours is, you have to love them in that way in order for them to feel appreciated and seen. So, yeah. That's good. Oh, I hate this. And then I get to a point where I'm like, I don't even want to celebrate my birthday. Like, I don't even you know even though i want to like i just don't want to put myself in a position where i feel like i'm forcing people to do things for me that they wouldn't normally do you know toxic talitha wants to go to the gym because that's how i deal with my mental issues is i channel them into the gym but i don't want to mess my hair up I might be going out of town last minute so there might not even be a gym session monday sunday monday or tuesday that's a long time to not work out for me and i don't like that but, oh, I can go to at and Okay, we have errands to run. Let's just knock them out. <laughs> I appreciate you guys listening to me be sad. It helps a lot. So, you know what we're going to play real quick? Because it resonates with me so much. Sad on your mother b day. Bitch, what the f Don't you realize you popping? Every time you walk in the room, you break neck. Neck. But you telling me you sad on your motherfucking B day? First time I heard that, it hit home. Shout out to Amine. That's my guy. I don't know if this shirt is appropriate, but I don't care. Today's Saturday, my actual birthday. I am 23 all of them. My hair is blending into the wall, and I'm kind of here for it. I didn't really do anything. Yesterday, I went to the gas station, I went to the nail shop, and then um, just came home and watched a movie. I found out literally yesterday that I'm going to be on TV. Yeah, I got asked to be on Dr. Phil to talk about social media. So yeah, your girl's gonna be on TV, which is crazy. And it came out of nowhere. It doesn't feel like my birthday because A, I was sad yesterday, and then B, it, I don't know, time is just so off that none of the days feel like the days they are. I'm like trying to prepare for this TV appearance. So I've had phone calls, meetings, like back to back emailing um, this producer, like literally all day. I haven't really had a chance to vlog. I took today to like catch up on sleep because I can't be on national television with backs. No, it is 418. I'm gonna edit this video because I am literally catching a flight in the morning i am not gonna have time to post and upload and all that so i kind of want to get this video done before i leave i didn't even finish editing but we just gonna have to charge that one to the game and knock it out later but i'm about to start my makeup the kitchen is poking out <laughs> i can't put it in the bud because then all you see is black hair <laughs> The birthday outfit, this dress is from Fashion Nova. And then my shoes are from ooh, Amazon. They didn't fit right, so I had to like fix them. And the purse is from Blazure Bags. It was sent to my P.O. box. My hair is gonna be fighting this dress all night, but look good. We are about to head out and I will bring you guys along for the ride. Fire. Huh? Did you? 
Uh uh. Did y'all just see that? Yeah. Hold up. Wait. Huh? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Huh? Oh my word. Oh. Oh. We are home from Eddie V's and it's 2.24 in the morning. But I wanted to do PowerPoints for my birthday, so I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to do them. I'm so excited. I love PowerPoints. They're hilarious. <laughs> Toxic ass stands. Toxic girlies and gays. It's, it's a mess. It's atrocious. We can't let this go on no longer without it being addressed. I don't care. I don't care. I don't have no garland, so I got to use some, some uh, bags Jesus be a so. fence. My name is Tabitha Nose Carter, and you're going to find out which Beyonce album describes you the best. I am going to end the video here. It is literally 6.30 in the morning. I've been up all night, and I have to leave, literally leave, to go to the airport in an hour. Y'all, your girl is stressed out. You know, we gotta give our shout-outs. We're gonna make this quick because I'm trying to go to bed. The emoji for 2015 is the flip- where did that come from? <laughs> the post emoji for 2023, at least January. Maybe I'll change them up every month, but it's the flaming heart. So shout out is going to I am Penelope B. I love this curly hair on you. You look good. Oh, it's when's your birthday? October 1st? Let's go. Oh, are you a mother? I have such mad respect for moms. I want to say Nisa, Nissa, Nisa Simone. Thank you for commenting on the post, girl. You are serving the vacation vibes. I'm trying to get like you. Ooh, not the carnival. I'm trying to go. You look good. Yeah, get into it, girl. You're fire. That was a look. I'm gonna go to bed. I want to say thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes and for making my 23rd birthday special. I got more love from y'all than people I know in real life. And that puts a lot into perspective. But I really appreciate everything, all the wishes. <laughs> Makes me wanna cry. But thank you so much for not only watching, but just your support and literally allowing, putting me in this position to even be on TV, which is crazy. I will keep y'all updated when the show airs, but I love y'all and I will see you literally tomorrow. Peace out.